dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the channel. Today we got the top seven gun of season two of Call of Duty Mobile. Let's get it. Again, as usual, quick disclaimer, we don't put shotguns, marksmen, or sniper because in my opinion, those are specialized weapons. And if you like using those guns, you're gonna use those guns over any of these meta guns. But if you are gonna use any specialized weapon, the SKS is still one of the best gun, if not the best specialized weapon in the game. All right, to start off our list, number seven is gonna be none other than the Mana War. So the Mana War actually got a pretty significant buff to its reload speed as well as its ADS. One of the biggest downsides of the Mana War previously was its reload took literally forever. This is actually now the best three tap gun in the game previously held by the DRH, but with the buff to this gun, this is the number seven gun this season. Mana War over DRH chat. Mana War over Dr. H. These guys, one shot. So many of them. If I die to swarm here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my. Number six is gonna be one of the easiest guns to use as well as having a great magazine. This gun is none other than the Bison. So the Bison did not get a buff or nerf this season, but the fact is I used this quite often last season. It was dominating with it more often than not. With that being said, the 64 round mag makes this an absolute monster of a gun. And if you're a potato like me, you will benefit from this. And for that reason, this is my number six gun. Is the guy upstairs? Got him. I'm running, I'm running. Is there a guy in here? Is guy upstairs? I beam him, holy. Oh Lord. Guys upstairs? Oh, Ballista teammate? A little flickerino. Number five has actually dropped down from number four from last season. This gun is the best LMG of the game. It's going to be none other than the Holger. So even though the Holger dropped down one ranking doesn't mean it got worse. It's still a very strong gun. You can laser people from afar. Close range time to kill is still pretty decent. And not only that, if you have the Battle Pass skin as well as the Mythic skin, you don't need to put a red dot, making this a very strong gun to use. And it's definitely the best LMG in the game. here oh my god I almost died there wait I almost got needed dude nice noise friendly airstrike incoming Ow, 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 ow. There was a guy somewhere here. So number four is going to be the gun that dropped the most in the rankings. This gun got nerfed in the last season and it's none other than the Krig 6. So in my rankings, the Krig dropped from second place to fourth place. However, it's still a very close race between second, third, fourth, and even number one. But this gun can still beam at that distance and can also do a lot of damage close range. The only real downside of this gun is that you kind of have to put a red dot or have the mythic. That plus the nerf makes this my number four. I'm getting too much of a headache, chat. Enemy spotted. Enemy spotted. 
Oh, Jesus. All right. I need to focus up because... The gun that has not got nerfed and has been pretty dang consistent in the last few seasons. This gun's gonna be none other than the Kilo. So the Kilo has been probably the most consistent gun of the last few seasons. It has a great recoil pattern, time to kill is fairly decent, and the attachment with this gun is mm, chef's kiss. Now the only real downside in my opinion is the iron sights are not the best. So if you do have the iron sights of the anime gun like I have or the mythic, this gun is a fantastic gun and it has not really moved up in the ranking. You know, it didn't get nerfed or buffed, but it is still very good of a gun and that is why it's my number three. Oh lord have mercy. Hey, I don't get this. I want to try it. Hey, 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 the wind. Oh. It's getting so nice. Ooh. Ooh. This guy's going to be all the way across. Didn't mean to kill you, but it is what it is sometimes. Shock of RC, see? Shock of RC, save my life. So number two may shock a lot of you guys, but I strongly believe this is the best AR in the game right now, and this gun is none other than the KN44. Listen, this gun has gotten the highest jump in ranking, going from unranked all the way to second place. The buff last season was actually really strong. Having the three tap to the chest makes this on par with the Krig last season. But with the nerf to the Krig, this gun is stronger. Some might argue that the Kilo is better than this gun, but I would argue that the iron sights, the ADS spread accuracy, and the fact that you can three tap with this gun makes this superior. Not by much though, but still superior in my opinion. And it might just be me, but every time I use a KN, I seem to laser people, three tapping them, and it has a rate of fire that's not that much slower than the Krig. So this is a absolutely strong gun. And for those reasons, this is my number two. Wait. This guy is actually playing OBG like crazy, chat. Ooh. No, I was one HP. Dang, that's unlucky. I love it when I spawn. You know what I'm saying? Spawn die, spawn die, spawn die. The prophet's here. I'm dead. I haven't died. This guy died. Pick your head. Alright. Before we get to our number one gun, let's talk about a few honorable mentions that didn't make the list, but it was super close. So to start off our honorable mention, we're gonna have two guns which have basically similar stats. These two guns are gonna be none other than the ICR and the M16. Now, I personally like using the ICR, but if you have the M16 legendary skin, I would recommend the M16. But let's go ahead and take a look at the ICR versus the M16 real quick. So if we take a look at the builds, you can see they are very similar. The biggest difference is the M16 requires a wildfire perk, which makes it full auto. And if you don't have the legendary skin, you have to use a red dot, which will make this build slightly worse. 
Now, if we take a look at the stats, you can see they are fairly similar. You can even see same multipliers, same damage range, same rate of fire. I lied, three milliseconds, but you're not gonna notice that. You even have the similar movement speed and sprint speed. Now, the ADS speed is going to be faster on the M16, but the ICR does have a better recoil pattern, better ADS spread accuracy, as well as the better iron sight. So I prefer using the ICR, but if you do have the legendary M16, I wouldn't be opposed to it. That being said, these two guns are still very strong. They are slightly weaker than the KN and the Krig, but with that three tap potential, you can still dominate with this gun. Now, next honorable mention is gonna be the newly buffed EM2. This is another three tap gun that can do very well in rank. The biggest downside is that the bullet speed will make this suffer at longer range and you will feel it. However, it does consistently three tap in those close range, but it's still slightly worse than the Man of War, but still a very strong gun this season. So for our final honorable mention, we have the HVK. This used to be one of the top guns, but it dropped because of being a higher skill gap gun as well as some other guns taking its place onto the list granted this gun can have two tap potential with a large caliber mag it does only have 29 magazine size if you use that but if it was higher this would be absolutely broken you can get away with the regular magazine but the other guns on this list would be better so if you are using the large caliber mag and you're very strong this could be a gun that can dominate for you so the number one gun actually got nerfed this season but it was not enough this cbr is still the king the number one gun this this season and this gun has actually been number one for the last few seasons matter of fact i think this was top five for the last year or so or at least it feels like it this gun is just such a good strong gun that i don't understand why they haven't nerfed it even more but it is definitely the strongest gun if you do want to dominate your rankings you have to use the cbr it's just such a strong gun lasers close lasers mid lasers everywhere i just feel like i don't need to talk more about it yep nate martyrdom guys upstairs guy just Walked into death. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Where is this guy here? Oh, they got spawns? How? How, Sway? Nice teammate. I got events. Nice shock RC. I knew we weren't gonna lose that. I knew we weren't gonna lose that. But anyway, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with my list. And if you don't, let me know what is your top seven gun or what gun you would put onto this list. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.